All right, today we're going to go a step further with our Google Slides recording and look at manipulating the camera that we have in Slides recording. So let's say we have a brand new file that we're going to do a recording in. A great uh, workflow would be to record a, an audio reflection instead of writing one out. So what we're going to do is uh, we can come up to under insert and if we come down there's a new item called speaker spotlight so that's going to open up over here a whole list of different shapes of uh, speaker spotlights or speaker uh, windows that we can use so i'm going to click on this heart one down at the bottom because that's really unique so you'll see that puts it on the page now i can drag that anywhere so let's say i have a bunch of text or pictures or even a, a scene on my slide i can move this window wherever i'd like um, I can make it big if I want to be, you know, a big part of that recording. And then when I record, use the Google Slides recording setting, it will put me um, speaking into that spot wherever I've preset it. Uh, that's a nice feature because you can go ahead and on each slide you can put that window where you would like it instead of having to manipulate it otherwise. Let's take a uh, look at what it looks like just to manipulate the speaker window without setting up the speaker spotlight. So we're going to have to go to, into the recording. So I'm going to go up to the top right, press that little record button. This is a Google uh, for Workspace Plus edition. You'll see here I already have one recording. It's available here. So if I click that little play button, I could watch it here. It's also automatically saved it in a Google Drive folder called Slides Recordings. Okay, so I'm going to just delete this. Okay, so now when I come to record, um, if I don't have a speaker spotlight, did you see here how I got a little friend that came in on the slides camera. So this one comes automatically. This is kind of the default shape and position just in the bottom right hand corner. Now there's two options that I have. First little window um, right above the slide page turner is one where I can change the position. So this is gonna shoot me to the bottom left and I can go to the top left, top right. There we go. So um, I can move those around, but I can't fine tune them. Those ones are preset. I can also change the size. So in the middle, it's often nice to have a bigger speaker window. We also have then a medium. This is the default size and then a little itty bitty. And so those are the pieces that we can move around just with the default. So if I want those special shapes and to position them specially ahead of time so that I'm not overlapping on text or anything else, I can go to insert and speaker spotlight.